Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I have some more rare Kiki K finds to share with you. Um, please excuse my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment. Um, so I need to stop every once in a while and cough, so please excuse that. Um, so these are from two different places. So these two here I bought off a Facebook D stash and these three I bought off Gumtree. Um, so I wanted to show you all together. It's just easy to do them all in one big video, I guess, then do it little bits. Um, and otherwise, I, I might just be sitting here on them for ages. So I thought I'd get them out of the way now. So we'll start off with the ones I bought on Gumtree. Um, we have seen this one on my channel before. I'm really feeling bad about taking them out of their plastic, but um, I feel like I, I kind of have to. I can't show you guys just the top. That's just not going to work. Um, so I have shown you this one on my channel before, uh, but last time it was very, very um, used. This one's obviously wrapped in plastic, so she's still very close to brand new. So I think last time we were missing some pages, so I'm just going to walk through as if we haven't seen it before. So we'll start off with that beautiful watering can with the flowers. Oh, I remember this one. Isn't that goat gorgeous? So cute. I've got a birthday cake. Um, sort of arrow macaroni shapes, some salt and pepper shakers, that one's definitely one I didn't see last time. Oh, look at those clouds, so cute. We've got some cherries, some music, that one definitely we've seen. Some flowers, some pencils, bunting, some more clouds, some trees. This one's a very cute weather one. Some flowers again, apple cores, a drum, and moose. I know we've seen the moose. And a boat. And then we've got some a mark on that one. Um, got some lines sort of going up. We've got a cow. I don't remember seeing the cow before. That one's different. Got some cars, some sheep, got some birds, a guitar. It looks really similar to one of the Valentine's Day ones. Some autumn leaves, got a cute sausage dog, camera, ice cream, some flowers, some more squares, some more flowers, some gorgeous little, I want to call them echidnas, but I'm pretty sure they're hedgehogs. Uh, some more flowers, got some vases at the top here. Oops. Cam got some bunnies. Aren't they so cute? Oh, come on. Come on. Got some anchors. We've got a chicken. And then we're back to the flowers again. So I'm just checking to see if this has... So this on the back, it's called Rainbow Stitch. So what I'm going to do, just so that I know which collection it's from, I'm actually going to keep the barcode just so I can keep it. Probably not going to come off there. Oh, yes, it is. I was going to keep it on the back just so that in future, if I ever want to know what collection it's from, I can very easily do that. So this next one's called Under the Sea. I think this is a collection that I've actually wanted to have a good look at for a while, but never found any of it. So I'm very excited. Oh, come on. Do you hate when you run the knife down and it doesn't actually do anything? There we go. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to grab the label off the back, if it'll come off nicely. And just stick it on there just so that I know which one it is. It was a tip that someone gave me on Facebook. It's a great tip. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm very excited. We start off with a whale. Oh, he's so cute. He's blowing bubbles. And a little crab. Oh, wow. Is that not the most gorgeous mermaid you've ever seen? We've got some fish, some shells. Ooh, I'm seeing a week coming together here. Uh, got some more fish, got a boat and a submarine. Oh, look at that little seal. And that's a seal, not a seal, like you get in the paper lovers book. It's an actual, not a, you know, a round seal, sorry. I'm trying to be funny, it's not working. I'm just gonna say I'm just delirious. I've got a whale in some pink water, which is a bit weird. I've got a life buoy. Oh, look, it's a swimming seal. 
Oh. Some more fish and some more fish and some more fish. And some more fish and a starfish. And some more fish. Okay, I get it. There's a lot of fish. I do like that spot though. That's cool. Got another whale there and a starfish. Some pink. Got a mermaid with some rocks. Got the beautiful stars and shells at the top. Got the sea, like the boat with a um, submarine. Got the crab. Another submarine. Another little seal with a shell. Got some anchors and another boat. Got another mermaid. I do love that green spot. Another boat. Some fish and a crab. And then I think, oh no, not quite. Another whale. Oh, come on. Got a life boy again. Another boat with some fish. Got another mermaid. She just flipped around the other way. And then I think now we're back at the start. No, we're not. Whew. I think that's my favorite thing about these older notepads. They seem to have more designs in them. These ones have 40 different designs and 120, so you get four of each. I have a feeling some of the new ones, we don't get as many designs, but we get six of them instead of four. Um, overall, I think that's probably better. Now we're definitely back at the start. But I do love the old ones where you get so many more. It's a lot of fun. So this one, is the Make Your Mark collection. I do remember this one. I didn't love it at the time. Um, I still am not the biggest fan of some of the colours. And this one's only got 100 sheets, not 120 like the others. Uh, but it is bigger. Um, it's also got these... Uh, weird's not the right word. But it's got these bolts in the top, which I get are a design feature but for a notepad I think it was kind of silly I think that's why I didn't go anywhere near this at the time just because it's a little a little silly but they do allow for it so they obviously have given you more paper to allow for this design at the top so we'll go through these ones as well so we've got the border these ones look a lot like this was in the one of the cute paper lovers books I think Today is your day. It was just, it was just this orange. It's a beautiful colour on camera, and it's a beautiful colour in photos. But in person, it looks just a bit much. I think that was the problem with the collection. The other thing I love about these ones is that they are perforated, so they're going to come out really easily. I hope. Uh, so we've got some stripes and some spots. Stop and dream. Stop and create. It's just. The blue in this is gorgeous. It's just that orange. Bleh. Just bleh. It's just a bit much. Laugh. Live, laugh, love. Some waves. I used this a little bit in my travel planner that I did back when we went to Newey. I thought the blue colours with the waves really suited it. And see, that's it. Like it. 20 is fine, but you just seem to get to the end of them really quick. The other thing I guess I didn't like about this is that the corners are rounded and that seems really weird because I generally love when the corners are rounded and I do um, but I just think I like to have the choice because sometimes well, especially if I'm going to use that in my planner I now can't use that corner because it's not going to sit the whole way over which is just frustrating. Okay so this other one this is one I bought off Facebook I had to be really restrained with this de-stash because it was amazing. Just occasionally you get some data fantastic and you can't pull your eyes away from it. This was one of them. And I missed out on so many other things that I would have wanted. If I had got everything I wanted, I would have spent, seriously, I don't know how much. Um, just to let you know, all three of these ones cost me $30. So $10 each, they're definitely cheaper than they would have been in the store. So I'm good with that. These two, I want to say cost me like $34. I'm pretty sure this one cost me $20 and I'm pretty sure this one cost me $14 or $15. Um, they are both new. This one especially is in the plastic. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a price tag on it, so I don't know which collection it comes out of. Uh, but it is very cute and it's one that I haven't seen before. So I'm very excited to have a good look through here. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of florals, surprisingly enough. So I'm going to start off with... Oh, and these are kind of... I think these are like precursors to the sweet collection that we get every year now because these are gorgeous and they're done in that same watercolour design. Really pretty. Oh, those spots are amazing. Got the rain cloud. Come on. 
got some vegetables. Got that gorgeous snail. So cute. Oh, look at that kitty. Got some arrows, some more vegetables, some more flowers, another rain cloud. I seriously think this is got this is a it's, it fits very nicely into that sweet collection. So perhaps it's another one of those ones. If anyone knows which collection it is, let me know down below. I love those raindrops. We got some garden tools, got some pluses. I love those plants. No, it's still going. We've got some watermelon, some more clouds, some more kitties, another snail at the top there. I was actually walking home the other day and it was just spitting. And I saw a snail and I sort of stopped and thought, you know, I haven't seen a snail for ages. Maybe we don't get snails in Queensland. I never see them. Or maybe I'm just not outside in the garden often enough. Got some more kitties there, more flowers, some more peas. Come on. Some more plants with a beautiful watering can there as well. Some more arrows, an orange and a peach. That peach has a little worm on it. That's so cute. Got some more spotties. Some more pluses, some more plants. Got some cherries. And I think we're back at the start. Yes, we are. So you get 40 unique designs in that one as well. And then the last thing, I am so excited about this one. So this is the Landscap Sticker Booklet. And it's called a booklet because it actually has two collections in it. It's got the sticker booklet that looks like this. And it's also got a Food Lover Sticker Booklet. So if you, I'm pretty sure the Food Lovers, Paper Lovers book that they brought out, they, they kind of seem to redo their food designs a lot. So I think this was like a precursor to that. So we'll walk through this one. So you've got some sun and some hills. I love those colours. That beautiful deep red is just gorgeous. And we've got some stickers with the beautiful navy blue. Got some birds, some flowers and some horses. Got some stamps. So something Kiki K used to do a lot of, but they don't seem to do anymore, is do the stamp shapes. I'm actually kind of glad they don't. Um, but they're cute to have anyway. And then you've got some labels here as well. And then you flip into the other side. So on this side, these are all your foodie stickers. So you've got your, these are stamps as well, but you've got your sort of labels and your food stuff. You've got some round stickers. And it's very much a, a, a different, same sort of theme, I guess, but different colors. Then you've got some labels, some jar labels. So if you did want to put these all over your, um, your jars in your kitchen, it's obviously something you can do. And then you've got some blank labels as well. So you don't get as much in it, but you almost get two, different collections which I think is really cool so they are my rare finds I think I think I love this one the most but that's because I'm an ocean person so perhaps that's kind of normal um, I love finding these things and I'm, I'm gonna say it every time keep your eye on Facebook that's the best place to find them especially for de stashes um, but also keep your eye on Gumtree um, I tend to search Kiki K so K I K K I dot K and then I also just search Kiki, so K-I-K-K-I, -I, and that seems to bring up a lot of other ones. So I'm giving you tips because I can't keep buying stuff. Ryan will kill me and we'll never be able to afford our house if I continue to buy stuff on these tashes. But still tag me if you do find me on, if you do find something cool on Facebook and you don't want it, but you'd like to see someone review it, tag me in it because I might be able to talk Ryan into it. Maybe not. Uh, I can try. Let me know down below which of these collections you like the best. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can leave me a message down below or you can find me on any of my social media links there down below as well. Hope you guys, an, uh, bleh, hope you guys have an absolutely awesome rest of the day and I will see you again on Friday. See you later. Bye.